Praise be Jesus and Mary. In 1224, around that time, shortly after St. Anthony's talents as a preacher became known to the friars, St. Francis commanded St. Anthony to teach theology to the brothers. And the house of studies was in northern Italy in a city called Bologna. And for this purpose, to carry out his duty as teacher of theology, St. Anthony needed books, which at that time were very expensive. And it is with the losing, with, the, with one of these books getting lost, that it seems that St. Anthony's fame, not only as a, a preacher and as a teacher of theology, but also his fame as a saint to pray to for finding lost things comes from. What happened was that St. Anthony had a, a book of the Psalms, which was all the more precious because it it had his own personal notes in it. And when it went missing, St. Anthony began to look for it, like anyone else would. But in the search, it turned out that the book was not simply misplaced, but rather it was stolen. And it was stolen by a novice who had chosen to desert the religious life, and with him took a book, hoping probably to sell it and to make some money off of it. So St. Anthony, finding this out, began to pray not only for the lost book, but a lot more for this lost novice, this lost soul, and began to pray fervently. To make a long story short, short after St. Anthony's fervent prayers and some divine intervention, not only did the book come back, but the novice himself brought it back, repentant and willing, asking, humbly asking to be readmitted to the religious life to re-begin the novitiate, to pursue that vocation which he had abandoned. So St. Anthony, through his fervent prayer, found that book which was precious and found that soul which was even all, which was all the more precious to him, to the shepherd of souls. And this little episode leads us to a reflection that it's a good intention to have in the year of mercy, not a praying to St. Anthony to find what's most valuable it's lost and most valuable to our Lord and to the church. Many lost and, and erring souls, lost sheep that have strayed far from God. You should ask St. Anthony for that grace that during the year of mercy that the harvest might be abundant, that many lost sheep might be found, might be brought back to God by means of a sincere repentance abandoning sin, making a good confession and coming back to the ways of God. And in fact, there's a beautiful prayer that summarizes all that we've been saying and with it we'll conclude asking through the intercession of St. Anthony that we might find, especially in this year of mercy, what's most valuable to the church and, and, which, and, and the loss of which is, is most painful to it and to the Lord. So a prayer to St. Anthony with which we conclude. O glorious St. Anthony, in your 36 years on earth, you spent your life zealously bringing souls to Christ, and from heaven you have become renowned for helping us find what is lost and valuable. With confidence, we now turn to you as our powerful patron, begging your intercession for those in our families and parishes who have gone astray from the practice of the faith. They are Christ's lost sheep and are so dear to him that he will leave everything to go and find them. Gain for us the graces to pray and work for their return with similar zeal and help those lost sheep we know to hear the voice of the Good Shepherd calling them back to him and to his sheepfold, the church. Amen. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us.